when you walk into Mount Zion Church, and, and I walked in there today, I felt the spirit of the ancestors pulling at me. Think about the number of floods that that church has gone through and it's still staying. Has to be grace. My name is Linda Joyner. I am the commissioner for Ward 2 for the town of Princeville. One of our major significance is that we are the oldest town chartered by free slaves in the United States of America. Hey, Miss Fanny, this is Commissioner Joyner. How are you doing today? Princeville is right adjacent to the Tar River. It's been described as like a bowl. Yes, ma'am, I told you I would give you a call back, see if FEMA has reached out to you. And when the water comes from upstream to downstream, Princeville is a good dumping place for the water. When the river overflows, this is one of the very first areas that, that receives most of the water. Hurricane Floyd in 99, that was the largest flood since 1953. And then 17 years from Hurricane Floyd came Hurricane Matthew. I'll never forget it for a couple of reasons. That was the day of my son's wedding. The rain was so clear and with the sun shooting through it, it looked like crystals were falling down from the sky. And I kind of said to myself, wow, that's some pretty rain. But I wanted to go away. <laughs> when we finally left this church that evening, we were, were guided out because you could not see the streets. And that was another devastating storm. 80% of Princeville was on the water for Hurricane Matthew. And this is Matthew. Yes. When the Marine Corps pumped the water out of the town. We are still right now as we speak in the rebuilding process. This is one of the ones that got me the most is people drying their clothes out. I know it. Oh yeah, the fire department. How is it that something that is so peaceful and so relaxing one day can be just as destructive? Climate change, I'm not that well versed on it. I have noticed that the summers are longer, the winters are shorter. There is more happening that man is creating. You think in terms of the structure of upstream, the new development, building of highways, building of, of dams, parking lots and pavements, so that causes the water to flow in a different direction or causing things to happen differently. Building things up and then you gotta tear down the natural resources of trees that has a way of absorbing things that could cause climate change. Those things have made water flowing from upstream to downstream more forceful, more prevalent. There is a natural path of it, but something has altered that natural path. Could be climate change. <laughs> Good morning, Commissioner. How are you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good morning, yeah. As climate change become more and more, okay, okay. I can see a town such as Princeville being more vulnerable than other towns. And where is this water going? Mm -hmm. And water does run to the lowest point. Just pretend for a moment that you are in Hilton Head and, or, or another town that is is, has been historically handled better. Mm -hmm. Princeville deserves our, our ancestors saw the vision. The storm has caused a lot of destruction, but we are bound and determined to build back. I see nothing but greatness coming out of here. That's all I see. We got our sleeves rolled up to do just that. As commissioner, my ancestral spirit is what I pull from. We have come through that rainy day, now in the process of rebuilding. Mount Zion Church is over 100 years old. It is a staple in Princeville. And my hope is that when you pass by it, you can say, that's the oldest church in the town of Princeville. And it's still standing. You stood the test of times. Thank you for the grace.